Hi. In this video, we're going to set up a basic world grab movement scene. So we'll just uh, create our new project. Uh, call it uh, world grab movement. All right. So I've uh, again downloaded a pre release version of uh, Godot XR tools, which uh, we can install from the zip. Just browse that folder. This should be available in another day or so for download, or you can just download the uh, uh, the master branch now. So I get a few uh, errors because the plugin hasn't been enabled, which we can uh, fix just by uh, opening up the project settings and turning on the plugin. While here, we'll also turn on the OpenXR and the XR shaders and save and restart. OK, so this involves uh, some physics layers. So we'll go and run the uh, the XR tools set physics layers script. So now we can start making the main scene. So I'll just uh, name this main and uh, save the scene at the root of the project. And let's make it uh, the uh, the main scene that Godot runs. So we'll start making an XR rig for the player. So start with the XR origin, then add an XR camera, and bring it up 1.8 meters. We'll create an XR controller for the uh, left controller. Bring it up one and over. 0.3 meters to the left, and rename it to left controller. Set its tracker to follow the left hand and set the pose to aim. And then we'll repeat the same thing for the right controller. So add another XR controller for that. Bring it up one and over 0.3 meters to the right. Rename it to right controller. Set the tracker to the right hand and the pose to aim. All right. So this is our basic XR rig. We'll add some hands to it next. So in the hand scenes, low poly, we'll grab the left hand low poly hand and put that on. Same thing for the right hand low on the, the right controller. We also need to uh, have grabbing support so we can grab hold of the world. So we go into the functions, function pickup, We'll attach that to the uh, the left and the right uh, hand. So we also need to support uh, turning. So we'll grab a movement turn, and attach it to the right controller. So that'll give the joystick, and that'll also uh, make a player body for us. And then we'll also grab the world grab movement and attach that to the XR origin. All right. So this gives us our player rig with all the motion and grabbing. So we'll grab, we'll add a sun to the scene and uh, an environment just so we can see stuff. So we need to have some objects in here. So uh, let's add a node 3D and uh, we'll just call it uh, uh, spheres. And we'll use this to hold a bunch of uh, static uh, body spheres. So let's create a static body 3D, rename it uh, to, uh, to sphere one and add a collision shape, which will set to a, uh, a sphere collider. Um, that will just be the default radius of a half, and we'll do the mesh instance as well, again as a, uh, as a sphere. So we'll take this sphere one, and we'll start uh, moving it around. Uh, and uh, we'll start making a few copies of it, just uh, control D to duplicate. Start putting them around the player. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, actually do Control D there. There we go. So these are just going to surround the player and give us something so that we can look at while we're moving around. So make a few more of these.
So that suitably surrounds the player. So the next thing we're going to have to do is set up a uh, world uh, grab um, area that we can grab hold of. So grab the world grab area node, uh, put it under here, and we need to again give it a collider. So we'll create a collision shape, make it a sphere, and we'll give it a massive radius, 100 meters. So this is going to be enormous. So our entire stage is uh, kind of buried in the middle here. So uh, also turn off gravity. So expand out gravity and replace it with a gravity of strength zero. So we don't fall down out of the world. And finally, we need to uh, start uh, the XR when we play it. So we'll grab the start XR script, attach that. And that's our basic setup. Let's uh, see how this plays. All right, pick up my controllers. There we go. So as you see, we can just grab hold of the world and pull ourselves along. We can uh, stretch uh, and shrink. We can turn around just by grabbing hold of stuff. So you can see I'm holding this sphere, and I can almost reach the other sphere. So if I stretch the world out, make it big. That sphere is an enormous distance away now, so I've got to claw my way over there. I'm going to shrink it down and uh, oop, bring myself back. And again, uh, I can now almost reach my way across. So you can uh, fairly easily just navigate around here, moving around, move down, move up, shrink the world in. So it all feels quite naturally. All right, so that's uh, World Grab Movement. I think that'll do it for today. Thank you very much.